As part of the Center of Excellence in Genomic Science at Caltech and Harvard, we have initiated the Digital Fish Project. The long-term goal of the Digital Fish Project is to scan in the embryonic development of the zebrafish into a computer to construct a digital recreation of how the program contained in the genome turns an egg into an embryo. To scan in developing embryos, we use two types of microscopy, two-photon light sheet microscopy and confocal microscopy. Both light sheet microscopy and confocal can image volumes in living embryos repeatedly over time to generate four-dimensional image sets covering the dimensions of space, x, y, and z, and time, t. Light sheet microscopy uses illumination from an orthogonal sheet of light and wide field detection of fluorescence, allowing it to image the entire depth of a zebrafish embryo very quickly and with minimal photo bleaching. Here you can see one time point from a four-dimensional light sheet microscopy image set of a developing embryo. We are visualizing this data using GoFigure, a software application we have developed for Intoto imaging. We have developed an algorithm to automatically classify, segment, and track tissues in 4D light sheet microscopy image sets. The results of this algorithm are shown here, where different color meshes correspond to different tissues that have been automatically extracted. For example, the white mesh corresponds to the brain and central nervous system, the blue mesh is the ventricle, the small orange mesh is the left ear, the small green mesh is the right ear, the larger green mesh is the neurectoderm, and the red mesh is the mesoderm. By using light sheet microscopy for imaging and go figure for image analysis, we can automatically reconstruct a digital version of the development of a whole fish embryo in 4D. However, oftentimes we may want to zoom in on the development of a particular tissue or organ. Whereas light sheet microscopy allows us to capture a whole embryo level view of development, other approaches, such as confocal microscopy, can provide higher resolution data for smaller samples. Here, we have used time-lapse confocal microscopy on a different embryo to capture the formation of the right inner ear at single cell resolution. This 4D confocal image set was then automatically registered and integrated into the digital fish based on the 4D light sheet microscopy image set. As you can see, the confocal data set provides high resolution single cell data for the inner ear, allowing for full cell tracking and lineage analysis. This same pipeline can be used to integrate data from other image sets, such as for other tissues, or using transgenics to mark various gene expression patterns. By integrating data from different embryos and different types of microscopy onto one framework, we can create a Google fish, which allows scientists to zoom in and out, pan across space and time, and view the expression of different genes. Thanks for listening.